Hey guys, what's up, Weed Imperium? and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be covering Particle, Play, Sound, and Seed, as you can see here. Uh, sorry, it's cut off. And currently, we are at 624 subscribers, so thank you, as always, for that. Um, so anyways, yeah, once again, we're going to be covering Particle, Play, Sound, and Seed. I should mention also, uh, I have a new intro, which is pretty awesome. I will have the Twitter username of the person who created it for me down in the description below. Um, and yeah, we're just going to jump into it for, and explain what they all do. And there will be timestamps all in the description below that you could either tap on or click, uh, and that will bring you straight to the command you want to see covered. But anyways, so particle is fairly simple. It lets you display particles. For example, you know you get these barrier 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 particles, or those particles I'm walking around, or like smoke particles, or explosion particles. Uh, play sound lets you well play sounds. Uh, seed lets you find the seed of a map or of a, a map uh which i will explain later on and uh yeah it's generally pretty simple uh so anyways we're gonna go ahead and start off here all right so the first command i'm going to be covering is the particle command as i mentioned and the particle command is actually fairly simple so in order to use particle you're going to want to type in slash particle first off and you'll notice here's the syntax it's going to be slash particle the name of the particle x y and z which are rare the particle will be uh, the x direction, the y direction, and the z direction, this is, I believe, where the particles will move. Um, the speed, so how fast they'll move, um, I believe, or how fast they'll disappear or reappear. Anyways, just their general speed. Uh, count how many of them will appear. Their mode, uh, I will explain that in a little while. Once we get to there, uh, player is if you want them to be at a specific player. And params, uh, I actually haven't been able to figure out exactly, to be honest. I've done some research. Um... And it appears like if you want params, you'll probably have to look them up for specific, for specific particles. But once again, this is a beginner tutorial, so we're not going to be going into the more advanced things like that. All right, so slash particle. First off, you have to choose a particle. So we're going to grab the large explosion particle, because that's or large explode particle, because it's a simple one. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to grab the X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to do it a block above me, um, and then I'm going to have it move nowhere uh, at a speed of one. <laughs> Um, and we'll do one of them for now. Now, mode is either force or normal, and force makes it so that essentially, no matter where, or no matter where you, ugh, people are spinning on Discord, um, no matter where you are in the world, if you're close enough to it, um, you'll have it automatically rendered for you, because essentially what happens is once you get out of a certain range of the particle, it doesn't display, so force means that it has to display even if you can't see it. So that's from what I understand anyways. We covered it last um, thing. That's just from memory. So sorry if that's a little bit wrong, but that's that's what I know anyways. Um, then player, I'm just going to select at A for now. And then parameters, I'm just going to leave blank. And there you go. You notice there's a large explosion that was just played. Now I should also mention, of course, um, I have my own texture pack on, so that's not normal looking. Uh, let me grab something a bit more normal looking. Let's grab... Um, the uh i think drip water let's try that one you notice there's a little water droplet that appears above me it's really small uh and say for example i want to spawn 100 of them they're all kind of in one spot there but there are 100 particles right there um this will become a lot more obvious with certain other particles maybe with the note particle it'll be a bit obvious but as you can see if you look closely there are a bunch of particles layered on top of each other um and if i add random movement you'll notice, you can tell that it becomes much more obvious. Now what I'm going to do actually here, so I'm going to do 5 by 5 by 5 and you'll notice in a 5 by 5 by 5 radius around me, these note particles spawn, which is really fun. And I could say set this to 1000, and bam, there's a bunch of note particles just appearing just like that. Fairly easy. Um, of course, certain other particles would be laggier. So for example, large explode. There we go. Um, it's actually not causing too much lag, which is really interesting. Um, but it works. All right, so the next command we are going to be covering is the play sound command. Now, the play sound command, once again, is fairly simple, um, but it's going to be very useful, especially for map making. So what you're going to want to do is do such play sound. And you'll notice uh, it gives you play sound, the sound, uh, so that's which sound you're going to be playing, the source, where uh, where it'll come from when you look here, um, the player, uh, so who it'll play for, I just do add A typically, the X, Y, and Z location of the sound. For example, if you were to set it to this block right here, you were to walk farther away, the farther away you are from it, um, the quieter you'll hear it. 
um, the volume, so how loud you'll hear it, um, the pitch, which is kind of, well, the pitch of it, uh, you'll see when we get to that point, and then one volume, so how, how loud it must play by default. Okay, so we're going to first off play a sound here, and you'll notice there are a lot of sounds. So we're going to for now choose item dot elytra dot flying. And by the way, if you don't know how to pull up that menu, just press tab. It's fairly simple. Uh, then the source. So we're going to actually have it go from just the master um, source at myself, at my current location, with a volume of, I can't remember if the max is 1 or 10. We're to, we'll do 10, pitch of 1, and move volume of 10. And nope, it's supposed to be volume of 1. And... There you go. Apparently that's looping sound, so that's a bad idea to do. But, as you can tell, it did go ahead and play. Now we're going to actually change sounds here to make it easier to demonstrate. If I could pull up a sound... Uh... Score... Uh... Sure. So there's the Elytra equipping sound. Now there are a couple of different variations, so it'll kind of go through them. But for example, say I wanted to change the pitch. I could do that. Or if I wanted to have it uh, be a lower pitch. There we go, that's all you have to do. I believe it's from a range from 0 to 2. Yeah, so you notice it must be at least 2. And 0 works, but if I try, for example, negative 0.1, it has to be at least 0. So it's a range between 0 and 2 for pitch. And I think it's all pretty self-explanatory. I could, of course, change the volume if I wanted it to be less loud, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. Alright, so the last command is the seed command. Now, the seed command is fairly simple, and I think I've explained this um, already a couple of times, but we're going to go ahead and explain the seed command anyways. First off, the seed command, when you run it, it'll just go ahead and bring you all of that, and it's obviously a fairly long number, typically. Uh, also, I should mention before I continue, before I forget, thank you to Shatter on Patreon for supporting me. Uh, Shatter helps keep uh, my channel running, uh, allows me to, you know, work towards buying new equipment, and also helps fund my server. So thank you as always to Shatter, and if you'd like to help support me as well, uh, then go ahead and click the link in the description below. Okay, so seed. Um, there was the seed there, but for example, if I wanted to create a new world... Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and go to world options. Now I'm gonna set the seed to wave jump games, just like that, with no caps. You notice when we create the world here, and you might hear my voice lag out a bit, so just ignore that. Uh, if you do hear it, we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to load, 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 which is gonna take a minute. And just wait until it's done. I was going to actually generate two worlds during this uh, video, but I don't think it's going to happen based on how long this is taking. Alright, it's nice little world here. Now, I was going to generate another world, as I think I might have mentioned, but because of the time I have, I'm not going to generate another world. But I will tell you, if you go ahead in 1.12, create a new world with default options, and just set the seed to wave of games, no caps, um, then you'll go ahead and get this exact same thing. And I don't know why I got it. Apparently, if you walk in water or something, that's kind of interesting. But you notice, you will get this exact same world if you type in that seed. Now, you'll also be able to use this seed right here to get that same exact world. So seeds give you a bunch of information about the world specifically. For example, where slime chunks are, because if you didn't know, slimes can only spawn in specific chunks. Um, you know, where villages are, all, um, rather than having to use something like the locate command. Uh, and the locate command being specifically, and let me enable cheats here, um, being specifically for something like a village. Say so this, for example, um, if I teleport here, um, and not die, there's a village right here. Uh, but you could actually have found the exact same information using the seed. So anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload content like this every week. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. Bye!